It's dangerous, slippery and hard. My way to the post office. So I try to open it. In today's episode, how do you do winter? Welcome. I'm slept really late. I slept for 10, 10 hours. And then I got up and started writing on my blog. And I sort of finished. So I've been writing about the engagement. I, th I don't think that's the re English name for it. But it's, if you just translate the Swedish title, it'll be The Engagement by Georges Feydor. It was kind of funny, not really great. It was too artistic to really be sort of effective as a farce. But this is what I've written, uh, not just today, but sort of I'm kind of pleased with what I wrote. And I've started a new thing on my blog is Vem gör man det för? Who do you do it for? What's the, what is the audience? What audience? do you sort of produce this play for? Which is kind of thought-provoking. So here's the... Oh, I'm not there. I'm here! <laughs> I turned the camera the wrong way. Hello! So, a couple of months ago, maybe a year ago, I ordered three t-shirts online and now they arrived. I'm gonna go collect them. Can't even remember what they looked like. So, join me in this spectacular, fanatical, very interesting and so entertaining walk to the post office, which is sort of in a store here in Sweden because we don't have post offices anymore. So, this says that Du har ett brev att hämta. You get a letter to collect. And this is not a letter, so this, I mean, they're wrong. I've got a package, so I don't know why they can't write that. Or are these t-shirts really, 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 really small? Kids' t-shirts? Doll t-shirts? Very expensive doll t-shirts, maybe. It's dangerous, slippery and hard. My way to the post office. Who knows if I will even make it? I might die on my way to collect three t-shirts. Ah, oh, the things I do for costumes and clothing. Ooh. Okay. I mean, don't you love, love the wrapping paper? And the bundle is kind of small. So, thank you for following me on this episode of Yo Kim Goes to the Post Office. In the next episode, I will be opening a package. So, please join me in Yo Kim Opens a Package. Short. Hello and welcome to Joachim Opens a Package. In the last episode I got a package in the mail and I, as we often do here in Sweden, we have to go and collect it at the post office, which in this case is a grocery store. So if you haven't seen that, I don't know how you cannot have seen that because it's in my story just before this so you can sort of go back if you sort of want to see it again because it's it's really exciting and sort of dangerous but in this episode I will open a packet so this is the package I got I ordered it long 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 time ago I opened it such a long time ago that I thought it got lost and I didn't want to sort of I don't care I don't want to bother with it anymore but Ta -da! Here it is, with a lovely flamingo sort of packaging. Yes, I think the sort of contents is kind of gay. 
so I try to open it carefully sort of save this but it's been sort of fused so I have to tear it I'm so sorry oh it's been torn so let's see what's in it huh <laughs> and <laughs> so some of my viewers are flaming gays so I guess they won't have any problems with sort of guessing where what what the subject is this does anyone can can you guess what this is if you can guess who this is and the movie uh, please comment below because that will be kind of fun to see can you guess Oh, I, I, this has to be a new sort of story, I guess. So now it is. So if you <laughs> can guess what movie this is and who the actress is and sort of, yeah, yeah, please do. And the final one. So how about this one? Do you know the actress name and the movie and the part, the name of the role that this actor, actress plays? Please comment below. I hope people comment. I am dead pleased. And of course, this will be my favourite one. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love the movie. Absolutely love the book. Absolutely love the actress. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So... Thank you for watching this episode of My Fabulous Life, where you have seen me opening a package with three amazing t-shirts in it. Please join me for the next episode, which will be coming shortly in the next story, I guess. And it will be called The Thing. Oh, no, The Thing? Was that? Yes. Hello and welcome to The Thing. The Thing is... Oh, that's a good thing name, isn't it? The, the Thing is... The Thing is... Well... The Thing is, I just bought a ticket to see Something Broughton at the Bamland Opera this upcoming Sunday. And I'm going by train at 8 o'clock in the morning and then I'm coming home in the evening. And I'm so looking forward to this, even though I have heard that the male lead is out and he's got an other study on. I don't care because I need to see this show and I need to see it now. I need to see it sort of like five, five weeks ago. Five months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish these glasses, these are my reading glasses, but I wish they were sort of that I could just use them. I, I, I don't need glasses usually just when I read so but look don't these look spectacular anyway my friend Ulf is picking me up we are going shopping I have to sort of mind my money because I've been buying this ticket and the train fare for Sunday so I'm sort of I'm just I'm not broke I just have sort of I just have to sort of be careful Berätta lite om planerna för dagen. Mm. Klippning. Mat. Ja. Klippning av vad? Skägg. Och mat. mat. Mm. Och så någonting att jag ska typa havregryn. Mm. So there you have it. He's gonna cut his beard. We're gonna eat and I might buy oatmeal. Things are happening so stay tuned. So this is how I turn Ulf into Gauguin. Ladies and gentlemen, Gauguin. Ulf is getting his beard taken care of and I'm gonna sort of just roam around which is something I do very well so this is Ulf after some facial pampering
Var är vi och vad gör vi? Vi är på Vigården och vi ska äta hamburgare. Som alltid. Och här är en skjorta som jag köpte på Rea. Och det är som säger att Sara. It's really, it's cotton and it's really, really nice. And I'm tremendously good looking in it. And I also bought this re see-through rain jacket, which was on sale. It's just 200 crowns and it's so fun. I'm going to laugh every time it rains. And I guess, I'm, I'm not sure if it's sort of... I'm going to show your nipples every time it rains. I'm going to show my nipples every time it rains. Ulf, tittarna undrar, vad har du köpt? En grön eh, kashmiripolo, en bomberjacka i grått eh, kvintat tyg, en vit långarmad t-shirt och lite prylar på granit. Vad köpte du på granit? En kork och viskras. Ulf is now going to show you how the rain raincoat works. Or how he looks in it. Look, it's see through. So Ulf is a little bit bigger than I am, so that's the reason he can't really sort of. Look at the gorgeousness. Trutonga. Berätta nu. Försök nu sälja in den här havre. Nej, den här. Eh, säg någonting så här säljmässigt om den. Ja, gullamost och pepparkaka. Kul. Det här tror du kommer vara gott. Oh, ja. Är du nöjd med det här besöket, Ulf? Ja. Om det vore en skala, var på skalan skulle det här besöket hamna? Om det var en emoji? En emoji. En smiley emoji? Ja.